Hey guys, so I'm bringing my very first commentary for my channel, so excuse the awkwardness. Um, so in this game I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Villa. Uh, it's an alright game, I had the game in my file share from a little while ago, so my gamer tag's different there. Um, it's only I had since I only got my PVR about a week ago, so I haven't too, had too many games because <laughs> I've been a bit busy. Um, so in this video I thought I'd talk a bit about myself and how I got into gaming. So I do go to uni and I'm studying pharmacy to become a pharmacist in my third year of that now and that's really enjoyable. I also work at a pharmacy as well. Um, so I dispense scripts and do some counselling, that's pretty fun. I also play netball with a couple of girls from school, yes yeah, that's, that's fun too. Um, so it was probably about a month before Black Ops came out, I was sitting around at my boyfriend's house watching him play Halo on Xbox. I was thinking this has to be the lamest thing ever, why are you playing this? I was so bored I even had a go. And I'm telling you, I was the worst player you should ever see. I couldn't even use the joysticks at the same time, I have to go left and then forward or right then forward not at the same time. <laughs> I was that bad. Um, so yeah, it probably took me about 20 games to get my first kill, but when I got that kill I was pretty excited. Uh, yeah, I kept playing that for a while and then the day Black Ops came out, my boyfriend and his mate came home and kicked me off the Xbox. I was pretty mad, I was playing a good game of Halo, I was probably on about two kills. <laughs> and yeah, that, yeah, I watched them play for a bit and they eventually let me have a go. And yeah, I really liked it. I was still pretty bad, but it was good. <laughs> Um, so I played that for a while and I was probably the biggest noob you could think of. I used second chance and a light machine gun. I liked the light machine gun because you didn't have to reload. <laughs> I don't know why, those guns are terrible. Uh, yeah, I kept playing that for a while, got my shot a bit better. I played team deathmatch pretty much and then I got asked to join an all girls clan. So I joined them and they pretty much introduced me to um, cyber gamers and competitive gaming. It was actually the first time I'd ever played Search and Destroy. <laughs> so I learnt a lot. I didn't really get why people played it because you, when you died you didn't respawn. <laughs> so I was like, this is boring. Anyway, and so I played with them, I learned a lot and that kind of broke up and I joined some other clans. And then Modern Warfare 3 came out. I didn't really like the game. I played it for about a week after it came out. I didn't really like the spawns and I really like the guns, but so I pretty much went back to playing Black Ops and only recently, about a month ago, I went to play Modern Warfare 3, couldn't find the disc, so <laughs> eventually found it. I didn't, so that's how much I didn't play, I couldn't find the disc. Uh, yeah, so, but in February this year, I got asked to join a clan called Panic. It's founded by a guy called Tanko. I'm still with those guys now and they're really awesome, I love them. So we pretty much played Black Ops and then, yeah, about a month ago we played um, Modern Warfare 3 on the competitive ladder. I um, don't really play Modern Warfare 3 publicly, I only play it competitively because I don't really like um, just how public set up and all the guns are <laughs> terrible and really overpowered. Uh, anyway, um, but I've pretty much been called everything you could probably think of, especially being a girl you get even more shit. <laughs> I've been called a uh, fat slut, dirty whore, and been told to get back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. <laughs> That's not very original. I've even been called a hacker and a J-tagger. I didn't really what, know what the J-tagger meant at the time, but this guy was sending me messages saying that the way that I aim my pistol and shoot my pistol is too godlike to not be modern. <laughs> not really sure how that works, but it was probably because I was the queen of second chance back then. Um, and I just don't like how everyone assumes that if, if you beat someone or you're good that you're either fat or you're ugly or you have no life. <laughs> I don't know how that works but I'm, obviously I have a life I'm not fat, <laughs> evidently. Uh, just, yeah, I just hate how everyone who sees a girl that's good and they just assume that they're fat or ugly. I just hate the stereotype because it's not true at all. <laughs> anyway. Um, don't have too much more to say. I hope you enjoy the video. I ended up going 51 kills and one death, so that's not too bad. Sorry for spoiling that one there. Um, and a big thanks to everyone who I've played with in the last year. Love you all. Um, my next gameplay 
probably going to be a Modern Warfare 3 one, or I might do a montage, not sure. Um, so stay tuned for that one. You can check out my Facebook and my Twitter, which are in the description. And yeah, so subscribe if you want to see some more videos, and thanks for watching.